lots of options here. I, I like this map. We've got game number two. Uh, first time we've seen real elite players playing that, playing this this far in Titans League Season 3. Um, big... Um, it's all about games one at the conclusion of the group stage. Viper's probably going to get wins against other people too, don't get me wrong, but Tato's at least a caliber player where you know, he, he has shown that he can get wins against Viper pretty consistently too. Um, I think that there were some mind games going on uh, because I thought it was going to be Bohemians for Viper where we would see a lot of monks. And I think that's the only reason Tato picked Tutans. He picked it last in his draft. So then Viper was maybe like, oh, I can't go Bohemians and go monks because Tato counterpicked me with Tutans. And now Viper's ended up with a farming sieve in the polls. So you had mentioned polls. Like, why do you think polls are good on this map, T West? I've seen a lot of villager fighting on this map. Sometimes okay. you see players, as Tato's doing, going straight for that lumber camp. And you can see players go forward to try to lame that lumber camp really early. Doesn't okay. look like Viper's going to decide to do that, though. That, that's where I've seen polls be really useful for going forward to try to steal the elephant, kill the deer, yeah. hit the uh, cornered lumber camp early on. Yeah, Viper should know about this, too. It's just been so long since I've seen... But I haven't casted these guys play this map at all because I didn't cast a lot of RMS Cup, which is where we pulled this map from. So I don't know how much they know, how much things have changed. Because at least with polls, uh, polls no longer have the Vil regenerating in Dark Age. So the Vil fighting probably is not going to be as extreme here. But yeah, both players going for the Lumber Camp. You can then chop through these 50 wood reeds to get to the dock position. So that's the idea. Yep. The other thing I think of for the poles here is that you're going to have a really strong tower rush if you're mining that stone. And Tutans might be a counter to that. Yeah. Just they can put extra vills in their towers and win the tower fight. So that might be what Tato's thinking here. It feels like Viper just wanted poles on this map, though, since it was his first pick. Yeah, it's just weird because most of the games I've seen, we've seen a lot of fishing, sure. But other than that, for getting food, we've seen people going to the market <laughs> and buying it, like, <laughs> and sending a lot on gold to buy it, and I felt like Bohemians would work well there because of the gold mining upgrades, but I guess the follow-up then to the buying all the food is usually monks, and Tutans resist conversion, so I can see how Viper didn't want to be put into an uncomfortable position there, and maybe he feels like he could just wall up along the front of his base, and have a neat and tidy game with the poles and uh, have lots of farms going down. Yeah, I mean, they're both farming saves, right? Because Tutans get the discount on their farms, yeah. not really the sieve for fish booming in the back as much as some other ones like the Japanese or mm -hmm. even Burgundians might be. I do think you still have to fish. I am curious on the investment. And then, of course, there's the fun potential of a dock block. So if players walk a bit along the shoreline, they can block it off with their dock. So that can be a way you you fish, but also don't need to protect your fish. But of course, that comes at a cost because then your fish is inefficient. So I just, without the water aspect and like all the little cutting strategy, I'm not sure this game, this map would really be all that good for me. But it's just so cool that that is something the players have to think about and weigh the pros and cons of. Yeah, and the 50 wood for the reeds really makes the map interesting because you're cutting out at like just the point where you need to make a decision about where to place the dock yep and or, there's room for some dark age harassment or some feudal age tower rushes yeah, to disrupt but, it still but it's also like at this stage you don't want to spend your wood on a dock you want to spend your wood on a barracks so the you know we've seen players in gold go for the dock and then they have to wall crazy at home like right now tato and viper both headed to stone viper i think responding more so to seeing tato was already on stone but what does this mean? Does this mean tower defense? <laughs> it feels very weird right rush. now. Yeah. Well, this this is how Tato played Chaos Pit when he had been picking it as his home map recently. Uh -huh. He would tower rush on it, and there go the Vils forward. It was so it looks like it's going to be towers. Yeah, I mean, Tato seeing the berries is a huge target there. They, if that mill for the poles is on the front, or the full work, I guess, that means that is where you target. Um, but Vipers, he wasn't planning originally on having 10 villagers taking berries here. This is because he knows Tato's going to come forward. He had scouted the stone, and his vills will regen 
come Feudal Age. So this is good defense from Viper and a good plan to just rush this down, stop Tato from getting any towers going. All right, and no, that's usually the trick to stopping the Teuton's tower rush. You don't want to get in the tower fight. You want to vil fight it before <gasps> it goes up. Oh, a nice gate from Viper. Yeah, I feel like you have to have some real balls to go into Viper's base to vil war. You know, like <laughs> the greatest quick waller ever. <laughs> Especially against the balls. <laughs> yeah, like the greatest quick waller ever. I'm not sure if you want to be doing this. But it will make it messy, and I think idle TC time is something that player uh, viewers are going to have to focus on because there's not a lot of Fudico to go around right now. And Viper's even getting Wheelbarrow. Do you think he's doing that for the Villager speed here? Absolutely. Makes him run faster. It'll help in the Vill fights. He does not want Tato building towers on his eco. Oh, man, and he's going to kill a Vill. And now you're already here. You might as well make a tower if you're Viper, right? If stone and gold is there, you, you just got to do it, right? Yep, there we go. And Tato yep. could fit more inside of his towers because he's Teutons. So Tato should win the tower war, but it is a tower war at Tato's base and on Tato's stone, not on Viper's stone. And the difficult thing about this tower war is Viper can't just run forward to knock it down because it's so close to the TC. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, so I think Viper knew that he's going to have to bail on this eventually. You just do not want to get your villagers walled in here, but I'm pretty sure that Viper won't, yeah, he, he won't let that happen. And smart thinking from Tato here. He knew that Viper's next play would be to go for the tower on the wood. And Tato just preemptively towered his woodline there so he doesn't lose access to that. But, you know, just the threat of that tower rush from Viper now has forced up two defensive towers from Tato, only one from yep. him. So cost effectively, that, that was a good move from Viper, defended himself and forced some more towers there from Tato. Yeah, and I think I think what's what's nice for Viper 2 is being the poles, you have received a little bit of gold from mining that stone. So every little bit helps. Uh, negative for Viper would be that he docked, and he's going to send a fire galley forward, and he's not going to find any kills because Tato has blocked it. So Tato's been bringing in some food that way, but eventually the dock will go down, and eventually Tato's going to need a response there, of course. Uh, and Tato, he's not done. He wants to go forward again, but Viper has an outpost to spot that. <laughs> <laughs> he's outposting the whole map. He's not going to be surprised by a tower rush. <laughs> yeah, but but I like this from Tato because if it's tower v tower, the Teutons should win. So, you know, Viper's going to aim walls. to send Vils in to rush this and change the fight. But Tato, you, you got to quick wall this, get your tower down, and then see what happens. Make it messy. You have cheap farms with the Teutons. If Viper's going to place farms for his bonuses, it needs to be around the building you are now towering. So, I, I get the idea. Some crazy commitment from Viper in defense, though. Oh, my goodness. He's yeah, sending a whole village there to fight this down. Yeah. That, that's risky against the Teuton Tower, though. That's a lot of garrisoned vills. Let's see if, how Viper is with pulling back the weak ones here. So far, so good. Uh, he's got wheel before, remember. Yeah, and he has wheel. That's a very good point. Viper has not lost a villager yet this game. It's 4 OKD. The scout for Viper has been able to scout the map as well. And yet again, Viper seemingly predicting this is going to be a tower rush, just swats this away and says, get out of here, Tato. And the key is that he committed so hard with all those villagers so that he had his tower up early enough that yeah. Tato couldn't get enough HP on those back oh, walls. Oh, man. Dude, Viper Viper really feels at home here. Look at this. He actually has, he was building a tower this whole time on the berries. It was just never spotted. So now he's just going to casually make a house next to the berries. He's going to take the berries. It's funny to me that he's making a house next to the berries while taking the berries with a civilization that has a mill that counts as a house as well. <laughs> like I know- You're right, he should have just built the Fulvark as the house. I know, it just feels so weird, but I mean, listen, I think Tato knows this game isn't working for him, but the only strat that he could do is Tower Rush. So he's just gonna keep trying, but every time he comes forward, Viper sees him and Viper happy enough to just chase him away. What a funny game here, T-West. But still, only like... Viper's got to be careful. He's been running around with his bills a lot. He hasn't taken much of his berries at all. He doesn't have any fishing ships. And he only has two farms. So it's not like we would expect Viper to necessarily be faster to the next stage from the... I mean, then again, Tato doesn't have any farms either. So well, he has five fishing ships. Yeah, that's true. So he is a much, much better food eco than Viper even at this point. 
Yeah, res collected. Tato's ahead by 200 res, and it's food. And being ahead with resources collected, I think, is pretty impressive, considering Viper does get two resources with one action, Mining Stone. But it's only been two villagers, I guess. It's not like he's had that many there. All right. Well, this is different than all the games we've seen in gold already. Towers and dock blocks. No army. Just towers. And no army, just towers. And maybe a mistake from Tato building a tower that isn't defended by anything. Viper yeah. is just going to try to rush that down. Yeah, but I think... Oh, man. Yeah, this, this is rough, right? Ideally, for him, he's able to, to come in with his vills to help and put Viper into some awkward situations here. Idle TC time's impressively low considering how this game has gone, and Tato actually is able to push this back. Viper would have lost that villager if not for the healing there. And Viper just backs away, and it's time for everyone's favorite building, I feel. Pretty soon, man, if they don't have farms, they need a market. You got to start buying and selling some things. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Viper, he, look at that gold bank he has. He has about 500. If he did do that market, yeah. he's in a position where he could maybe sell some stone and buy his way up. Yeah. I and think the, the problem, though, is he, ought, he needs not just the market, but also another building to click up. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even have a blacksmith yet. Yeah, I think ideally, Tata would have a couple farms, right? In an ideal world, he's doing this, but, you know, occasionally adding a farm or two, so he had more than just the fish. But it is eight fishing ships. Viper has zero. So... Viper has consistently had uh, fewer eco units working here. And he's got the worst towers. So Tato could creep here. He's going to shoot Viper's tower down, and he could just continue to move forward with more towers. And as we get to the Castle Age, maybe one thing to keep in mind, as Viper's been doing so much vil fighting, is the Teutons get murder holes for free. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you get to the Castle Age for Tato, suddenly you could be in a situation where if Viper is fighting a tower, he might end up losing a ton of vils. There's the market for Viper. He will undoubtedly buy his way to the next stage. But he's still missing a blacksmith. So that's another building he needs. And he is going to have to contest these tower positions. So it, it's he not... He recognizes it and adds in the blacksmith. Yeah. But I love this from Tato. Tato's like, go ahead. Vil rush me down. I'm going to get fletching. I'm going to make sure this tower is next to all my other towers. I'm shocked Viper's coming out here. This could this could be horrible for Viper. He's done a great job saving his vills time and time again here. He hasn't lost a villager yet, but it, it's surely at some point he will, right? It's, there's going to be quite a few arrows coming out, out of these towers. And there goes a vill finally. And I'm surprised he's fighting that. Yeah. Feels very out of place to fight this. But, you know, he backs away and, you know, Viper could have maybe tried a preemptive tower on the gold. There's a lot of his golden stone that's actually forward does always have a golden stone in the back area to fall back to but viper on the way to castle age tato progressing with the tower rush still very far away from clicking up yeah, he's just doing his market now but he still does have nine fishing ships working so he has a pretty good food eco yep problem for him is he's got to run out of food pretty soon because he only has four fish left yeah, this is going to be salmon out there. This is going to be interesting. See, Viper is he's he's going to arrive to Castle Age faster, and he can make one or two knights, but that's it. So like, Viper's got uh, the, this early Castle Age window, and it's it's like the tiniest window you would want, and he has to find the right spots with everything here, because his res are really at the limit as he continues to lose grounds, continues to maybe have worries that. He doesn't have any fishing ships against 10 fishing ships from Tato behind this. Yeah, and Viper has to go to the back now. He's forced off of those forward resources. And you can do the knights, but again, you run into that problem where the Teutons might get up. And then suddenly, if Tato makes it to the castle age, the knights can't take out the towers because of that murder holes. This is crazy energy from Tato. Tato's not going to be able... To, to be this bold in 10 seconds. <laughs> One Viper's in the next stage. So I'm surprised. But at the same time, I'm not. Because he's gained so much ground already. And you want to continue to deny res from Viper. I also feel like with Teuton Towers, you can't actually be underneath these towers with Knights right now. Right? Like, there's quite a few arrows. Right. So Tata, uh, Viper's best 
position for his knights would probably be going to Tato's base, which Tato is walling up right now. Yeah, he's recognizing he needs to keep the knights out. Yeah, like, he, he like needs to look, make sure those walls get up in time. Like, look, Viper tries, and rightly so, initially, to kill the Vils, but there's just so many arrows from these freaking towers that Viper has to pull the knight back, and now his, his next knight's probably going to go forward. Whoa. And as long as Tato has enough Vils forward, he has a good 12 to 14 Vils there that he can garrison two towers, yeah. he's safe. Obviously, in case people have realized this, if Tata didn't have the fish, he's totally dead. Like, he never goes cast late. The fish are a very important part of this. He's getting his walls done. He's added spears to defend from the Viper. And now Viper's dropped a castle to put an end to this push. The castle will likely go up. Villagers are exposed, but I think Tato even realizes he's got to back away for now. But Tato, you've got to click up, my friend. And a knight has gotten through, forcing more damage control from Tato. But damage control he does, very impressive. And actually, the knight's kind of trapped, <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> he trapped the knight in with the spears now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is playing all along. <laughs> Tato's just so close to clicking up. Finally clicks up to Castle Age. 55 eco for him, 43 for the Viper. Not only has Viper not fished, but he's not chopping to the other areas of the map. More quick walls from Tato. Big quick walls. Knights have looped over here. He also only has enough space for 10 villagers in there, but that seems like enough. Yeah, Viper's not cutting to the outside, T-West. Viper's going to be stuck. Yeah. You know, if Tato, he, if he has too many vills to garrison, all they do is they keep the knights out of the murder hole range so the tower can still hit them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what's really weird looking? Look at the mill for Tato from Viper's perspective and just look at the vision. It just looks so odd. I know why he has vision there because of the house and the palisades, but it just feels very abnormal <laughs> that he'd have vision around someone else's mill like that. So one thing Tato has to be careful of now is that he's on his final salmon. That and a couple of shorefish will be all that's left, and he's going to yeah. have to now spend a lot of wood on those fish traps. Yeah. So it's going to be an awkward transition now to pump out whatever he wants to do in the castle age while somehow transitioning to the fish traps. It's a lot of wood he'll be spending there. Tato's going to go guard tower here, right? Like, there's no question. I feel like he has to. It would be a very Tato thing to go for guard tower, too. There's siege that's going to be coming from Viper, which he spots. And the guard towers tend to be a very hard counter to the Manganels, usually. The Viper just now getting double bid axe here. No wonder he struggled for wood. And anywhere he goes, there's going to be towers. Now murder holes is free. And Tato's going to go for monks as well. What a crazy strategy here from Tato. And, and you know what I love about it, T-West? Is it felt like Viper was going to just push back every single attempt over the first five minutes of Feudal. And Tato just kept coming. And he trusted his strat. And he found some positions. And clearly the Teuton Towers have paid off to get this map control. Yeah, and it felt like Viper, he had the forward towers and had had done wheelbarrow had the pole vills was yeah. vill fighting for so long but eventually like look at this chain of towers tato just started basically under his tc mm -hmm. and just went forward from there viper gonna go light cav because he knows his opponent's gonna go monks he saw the monasteries and he's just gotta try he's brought the knights over now to try and get into tato's base but tato's got pikes there already um tato gonna drop a castle on the front which should go up, and who knows what happens after this, but I, I'm kind of feeling like Viper knew this would be a fast imp situation, and Viper is banking res, and Viper is even idling. Like he stopped creating vills right when that foundation was placed, and Viper clicks up, He's and in. that gives himself a chance back, because Tato's castle will most certainly get trebbed down now. Whoa. And a castle and all those towers. That, yep. The one thing that's good for Tato is that towers take a long time to take out with trebs. You got to keep moving them. Yep. And since they're only one tile, the trebs can miss. Look at the res collected now. I think this is where you could just tell the poles have finally paid off. Viper's had a lot on stone and gold. So his gold count's insane. And then he's been farming like crazy behind that TC. Whereas before he couldn't really do it. So this is this is impressive. If I'm in Castle Age when Viper was, I think I got to make tons of knights and I got to push, push, push. But Viper had enough of a threat to force Tato into the pikemen, force Tato into the monks, 
and then he just he just macroed his way to you know eventual trebuchets behind this. I, I do not know what Tato's answer will be when the first trebuchets start to come out. It'd be really complicated. Is Tato's play just to go full knights in the castle age? Because Viper's gonna have problems with gold soon. Yeah. He's yeah. down to less than 700 gold, and even that stone is about to run out. So eventually chop to the outside and get gold there, but that's still going to be a while. I I think full is... knights would be epic, but it feels very awkward when Viper has the castle, and you never feel as a player that, that doing that is going to be possible, you know? But you can't go imp. So it has to be army, and yeah, knights is got to be your best army if you're Tato. Yeah, Imp just takes too long at this point for Tato. He yeah. did do redemption, so that will help stop any bombard cannons from Viper. <laughs> Where's Tato this going is... right now? Dude, Tato's adding a ram. This is such a weird play. He doesn't have enough stone for a castle. You wouldn't want to place the forward castle now that Viper's an Imp anyways. Where are you going, Tato? What's the plan here? He wants more towers. Okay. He, he sees the farms and just wants to hit Viper's eco as much as he can. Yep, guard towers coming in. I mean, like you said, this buys him a lot of time. And he does have access to more stone and gold. Uh, in, in the very southern corner where he's cut. Uh, and also, Viper got through with knights. Uh, we didn't touch on this. Nice defense there from Tato. But, um, you know, also on the left side. So there's just like... A lot of messy things happening, and for Viper, he's just one TC. So Viper's fallen off economically because of that. There's a chance here for Tato to keep it messy, keep Viper's trebuchets at his own base, and then go into something to stop those trebs if they creep forward. And Tato is up 81 eco units to 56. Yep. So even if he loses that castle, it's still going to be hard for Viper to take those resources because his two castles now are back. They're not really covering the stone and the golds. Yep. And if Hato does have a lot of army, he can still protect them. But when you're like quick walling against knights, you're building towers, you're microing monks, what you're not doing is you're not adding farms. Which means you're not going to have the food eco to build up knight numbers to hit trebs. And Viper's got two castles in a pretty nice position. So you, good luck pushing the other side. His light cap from Viper will go in here. And nice play from Tato to get a conversion there. But Viper will be very happy with those two kills. Still the guard tower standing, tower. though. Oh, man. Look at those towers from Tato. And <laughs> if Viper's going to run those vills, he's not going to get to the outside. Yeah, like, that's a very good point. And that might be the biggest reason Tato's doing this. And the ram from Tato going in for the, for the trap. Viper's got to repair his trap and attack the ram. It usually shouldn't work. And it doesn't work here, but what a it funny does. game. Viper has no gold, no stone right now, T-West. <laughs> so these trebs are extremely are valuable. All he has are full Vark farms, which, I mean, to be fair, if you have full Vark farms and a market, that might be all the eco you need. Yeah, and Tato is buying wood and might even buy food, which could mean that Viper could sell wood and sell food for better prices. But just random monks from market. Tato, converts a light cav, more towers from Tato. He's like, I can build towers faster than you can treb them the down. Fish. Wow. Oh, if I had a demo right here on those vills. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah. Tato just making monks and making pikes, and the tower rush is kind of paid off. I mean, I think it's certainly paid off in idle time for Viper. I don't think it's killed enough, but he doesn't need to necessarily push and kill when he's got such a big economic lead. He just has to, to hold on for as long as possible. He needs to hold on until he can finally get to that point where he's pumping military. Yeah. He's adding the stables right now. He hasn't even had Bodkin on the towers. He's doing that right now. Yep. And, and like, so Viper annoying. has to back away with his units because he has to respect the tower fire. And then Tata's villagers are going to hop out and try and make another tower. <laughs> but I guess Viper yep. might actually find the kills this time around. So, I, I, listen, I'm just concerned, right? Viper still has decent food eco. He's getting gold from mining the bit of stone he's found between the castles. If Viper makes Lycav and Olbuk out of his castles, I feel like Olbuk are really good against just Castle Age Knights. And... It's, it's gotten scrappy here, man. There's a light calf from Viper that's been sitting on, on the left side, killing villagers for Tato. He can't pay attention oh, to has. it. He hasn't noticed that. Yeah, I mean, that that adds up. 
Tato lost most of his builds in the north of Viper's base. Viper's got... He's getting plus two armor for his calf now. This could be dangerous for Tato. Let I me mean, notice is the light calf. Yeah, it's got to be knights. And light calf again for Viper going in for monk kills. Viper will have wanted to have cut to the outside. Will he get the opportunity? We don't know yet, but he's still trying to get a bit of a push. And I, anytime he kills a monk, he'll be happy. But what's his choice when he sees... Full knights from Tato. I don't know. I feel like he's going to need, at some point, maybe need some hikes just to defend his trebs, just to keep his numbers up. But it's even that is expensive when you still need to yeah. do the blacksmith upgrades, too. I think old book make a lot of sense because they shred armor, right? And Teuton knights and infantry has have armor. So if you have a unit that shreds it and you have the castles already, I think that's the play. Tato, he does not have a stable eco right now. It's messy. I feel like Viper might even want to delete that forward stable so Tato stops charging the conversions on it. Yeah, maybe. Viper gonna drop a castle where he can take gold. Gonna drop a castle where he can then protect his trebs. And treb down the castle Tato is placing. Look at Tato's main farming eco. Look at his starting TC. Look at the idols there. Tato's pop capped right now. Right? Like, this is not an eco that is together. It's because of how scrappy it's been. And Viper just has to stick to the plan of continue the push forward. And there's going to be a lot of reward for it, uh, getting this castle up and a lot of area for him to treb. Beautiful Tato gets a lot of nuts, now, though. Does that castle necessarily protect the trebs? It feels like Viper doesn't really have too much army to defend them. He has seven Obuki there. But Tato's still amassing more knights. Yeah, I guess I guess it would have to be the Obuk, right? The Obuk have to be the unit Viper gets there. Hard to do when he hasn't had gold. Viper trebbing down another tower from Tato on the right side. Viper still... Well, he's got gold now. And the Obuk are here to shred the armor to steal the relics from Tato too. And I mean, Tato's catching up on upgrades T-West that Viper already has. How... If you couldn't stabilize your economy before... How are you going to do it now if you're Tato? Viper's got crazy army count. Well, Tato does still have 1,000 gold, and he can just come to the outside if he wants to. Yeah, yeah. I think that's an important area for Tato. Like, to just expand to the south, maybe you could just survive that way. I also don't mind the night raid. I don't think that's a bad play, because that pulls Viper's Obuk away from the main push, but that does also mean you then need your pikes to defend the other areas. Viper knows what's up. Viper sees the new CC from Tato here on this left side, and Viper's going to put an end to it. Wow. Dang. Tato wanted that just to garrison his vills, but he's not going to get that up in time. Wow, and now Tato pop capped. The old book do switch to the right side, so Tato has to pull away with his knights, and Tato's probably like, where has this gone wrong? I have, I like had such a good strategy, but this fast imp from Viper has, has undone me here. It's unraveled me. And there's still three castles for Viper. He's still finding some areas to mine stone, so he might get another castle up eventually, too. Especially if he gets his TC up on the left. Will he get that TC up, though? I see he has to quick wall it. Yeah, he actually... He did place the wall, but the villagers got stuck. And wow, that's so good for Viper. That's so good for him to know that he gets though. that. Oh, yeah, but loses his trebs at the same time. Whoops. <laughs> And I mean, Tato is still up 118 vills to 75. Yeah. As, lo as long as he has some farms going on the outside, and he's the, remember, he is the Teutons. He can add in those farms for really cheap. Yep. And look at what Tato is doing in that TC in the center of his base. He is up to the Imperial Age. What? He's actually up? I was just going to say he can't click up. What? Okay, so Viper has four castles on one area of the screen, which is pretty rare and ridiculous. He hasn't cut to the outside at all, and it doesn't even feel like he's ever going to at this point. Tato is going to fall back and not be in the center at all himself um, while being fully on the outside, I guess, here. Like, there's plenty of stone and gold out here. This is a ridiculous game. Yeah, there's still game. so much resource on the outside for Tato to take. Yeah. And he's hitting that TC with Pikeman. 
He's going to lose a lot of pikemen there, but Viper's been idled with 11, 12 vills in that TC. Not taking any of that gold for a long time. I do think... Tattoo also needs to delete his farms there. I get that Viper's, like, fully fixated on the middle, and I think it's working really well. But I think he has to get some villagers to chop wood again to eventually get to the outside. Like, that, that has to be on his mind, at least. Because there is a world where he will you know, regret not being able to raid Tato there. Because Tato is, is, is freely expanding out there with, uh, without a worry in the world. Yeah, and this is where uh, Teutons get scary because Tato's doing chemistry. And if yep. he can get hand cannon yours out, suddenly he's going to have a cheap counter to that Obu army. What a, what a sick game. What a sick game. I thought Viper was dead. And he's been back from the dead for some time now. I thought Tato was then dead. And Tato is now somehow in the Imperial Age getting chemistry, like you said, and, and building up towards hand cannon. It could go either way. We know Viper's 50 villagers behind, and it's probably going to stay that way because he's just on two town centers. But, you know, Viper's got four castles. And Viper, for the first time, has been able to, like, freely expand and do all these different things because Tato isn't really harassing him anymore. This is a ridiculous game. Oh, my goodness. I feel like Tato might come to regret losing those relics. Yeah, he had maybe. such a good gold eco from them. If this is going to last for a lot longer, that could come to haunt him if Viper is able to collect oh, them again. Oh, yeah, Viper knows he's back there. Viper's like, okay, I'm not seeing a lot in the middle. He must have cut, so forget using lumberjacks to cut the trees. I don't need that. He's going to go onager. And then cut his way and raid the backside of Tato's base. This is gonna this is brilliant timing because this is just when Tato's thinking of building up towards a push in the middle to hit Viper's castles. It's gonna be really difficult for Tato to do that when Tato then needs to worry about getting raided in the south as well. Okay, this is crazy, but Tato didn't delete those farms. What if he's paying attention and now sees all those light cav and potentially siege rolling across those farms? And I think he oh. did because he's now reacting with an outpost. Yeah, I think I think Tato should think that it's a possibility. But yeah, he might have actually seen it over the farms. Yeah, I, but he's not going to see the onager cut. Maybe he hears it. But Tato's, he's, he's got all his pikes, all his hand cans together, and he's thinking about pushing Viper. He's running, though. He's running those vills on the stone. He's he aware noticed. of it. He probably didn't hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must have heard it. You can hear it when it's not on your, uh, in your vision, which some pros don't like. Um, it's helped me in a couple sudden death games on hideout, so I'm not going to complain about it. And Tatsu's going to bring the pikeman <laughs> over. He's getting half. And, and honestly, the pike should be able to clear up this raid from Viper. It'll get messy for Tato, but now Tato knows it's a possibility. And it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now that he's got Halb over here. Yeah. It'll definitely get some Vill kills, but he's at 151 and he's pop capped. He, yeah. He could do with losing some Vills anyway. Exactly. And now you actually have a path to raid Viper's Golden Stone because Viper has opened this up for you as Viper goes for Elite Oba. Ridiculous game here, T-West. Still, to me, feels like Viper's, you know, has a little bit of momentum to work with, but maybe poor timing on the words because Tato's just, he's cleaned up the raid. He's going to clear up the Bombard Cannon on the left. And now he hasn't wasted any time with the pushback in the middle. Yeah, now he's going to get a castle back in his eco to prevent any future raids from doing oh, damage that's there. Sick. That's sick. Yeah, and, and he has the hand cannons out to deal with the Elite Obu upgrade that Viper is just adding in. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, poles. Their winged Hussars do have bonus damage against hand cannons. So that's maybe the next bonus you think of. We'll see if Viper, though, is able to get there. And Viper, seemingly distracted, loses another Bombard Cannon. And, I mean, I, I think I prefer Tato's comp. Halb Hand Cannon seems much better than the Old Book Light Cav combination. That's true, but you also have to remember it, just how cheap this is for the poles. Viper yeah, 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 true. It's 42 farmers right now, and 33 bills on wood. He can stand to add some more farmers. Yep. Viper going in for Trebs. He would love a Treb kill here because he just lost a Bomber Cannon. He's not going to get one. He loses all of his old book. Tato takes the score lead. Tato has an 80 population lead. This is the guy who tower rushed the whole middle of the map. Lost all those towers. I mean, he tower rushed keep. the outside of the map. And yeah, now he's going to be back with towers. Does, does Tato have any keeps left? He has, he has two. Two. <laughs> 
worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. I mean, obviously, you'll probably think about making some more towers. All right. I've got the biggest smile on my face right now. I'm sure Viper's just kind of scratching his head like, what? I, I know I was behind an eco, but I killed so much. I had so much time. How is Tato able to have this many resources? Well, that's the difference in the fast imp, right? Yep. Viper went in and he wasn't adding an eco. He's been one TC until he added that one in the south. Yep. And he was able to push Tato back, but eventually Tato's just holding on. Yeah, seriously. There's a really good hold here from Tato. Two of the best players in the world. Two of the best players in the group. Two of the best players in, you know, Titans League Season 3. So we knew it was going to be good, but I, I didn't really think Tato was going to be able to, to recover, even with though he had the eco lead. It really looked like he was scatterbrained and that Viper's push was coming in hot and heavy, but maybe it just wasn't enough from Viper. Is he now he and has he to try and bring this game back, right? He is now in comeback mode yet again, right? And if there's a sieve where you can do that, it's the poles, but feels like Tato is really going to be pushing him quite quickly at this point. Yep. Some fun bonuses we've talked about in this game, right? Ignoring of uh, the armor, the ignoring of the armor, the tower bonuses, both sieves having unique farm bonuses. Viper's winged hussar upgrade in now. Tato sees it, knows the raids could hurt him, quickly gates it off. Very well played, as he's actually on Cavalier now. And Tato so close to killing that Treb from Viper. And Viper's not dead yet. He is almost through in the wood line, so he could take Golden Stone on the outside for the first time. And Tato has one halve out there, just harassing those Lumberjacks. Yep. But yeah, Viper's through. <laughs> I feel like the big difference in this game, though, was just those fish early on from Tato. Yeah. If he doesn't have those fish, or if Viper does somehow have fish, then their economies are completely different. Yeah, but Teutons are going to struggle. They don't get Hustler, so they can't really raid, right? And Viper's military count at least has stabilized. 50 military count. His skirmishers are finding a lot of kills in the hand cannons. That was the biggest problem for Viper. He didn't have an answer to the hand cannons. The skirms also are going to do very nicely against the Halb. So Skirm is now Viper's best friend. And Tato wants to, to have his castles as a big part of this push. Lovely castle spot. I don't think he got crenellations yet, but with the amount of stone and gold control he has, I would actually love to see him buy the stone for crenellations. I think it's worth it here. Yeah, just... when it, it, One of the things you don't consider about it, usually you think about the range, but just the ability to put your halbs inside of the castles to do more arrow damage can yeah. matter a lot in like these situations where the Obuk and the Skirms are standing under the castle. Look at the raids from Viper on the left. Viper's not done yet. He'll kill most of those villagers. Obviously, there's a few in the tower, but simultaneously, Tato diving with his cav, desperate to keep his castle up, and he won't take all of Viper's traps. I think he's able to get two of them. And good pullback with his Bomber Cannons as well. Because ideally for Tato, the Bomber Cannons can now go get that final trebuchet from Viper. And Tato can hold this position. And keeping it down to one treb means you only need seven bills to repair the castle. If there's three there, then it's really hard to keep the castle up. Yeah. And and I think we just saw Cranolations complete. Or maybe he... I think he got Ironclad, actually. So his Siege has more melee armor, which uh, might... Make even more sense <laughs> when there's wind Maybe the out. Obuk just strip it away. <laughs> oh, true. Wait, do all do all books strip armor from siege? I guess I, they would, I, right? I guess so. I've never guess thought about that. Doesn't usually have that much armor. Yeah, that's that's a kind of a funny thing. Either way, I, mean, I don't think Viper's going to be able to get in close with those old books because of this important castle from Tato already has 16 kills with this castle, and yet again, big problem for Viper has been. His economy's worse. So he's expanding it to the outside. He's found some gold out there. But it's still just not a ton on gold for him compared to Tato. Sick game. Just a sick game. And Tato's still with the population lead. Viper not quite able to get to 200 pop. Yeah. And he's still taking these fights when he's at around 150 pop. Also, Viper... His units are much cheaper... But some of these engagements have been costly. That said, he'll take out all of Tato's trebs with these uh, with these hussars. Actually, he's gonna miss the trebs. He's gonna he's go for the cannons. cannons. Ironclad. Um, 
paying off, I guess, because the old books haven't hit them yet. <laughs> uh, but Castle down for Tato. And Viper, he's still somehow in this freaking game. This is ridiculous. Yeah, and this, is, this is where if you're the poles, you've gotten to the outside, you finally have safe spots for your farmers. Yep. And I think the thing to watch is just vill uh, Viper's villagers on food count. How yeah. many farms does he have and how many winged hustlers can he pump out? Look at Tato. He's, he's sent a couple cavalier into the back. That could catch up with Viper pretty quickly. Oh, and Viper's trebs. I was just thinking Viper could just treb push this entire left hand area where Tato has so many units. But Viper, you can't lose those trebs. That's going to waste so much time with this push. Oh, man. Push, I mean, so much gold at this point, too. Yep. I mean, he was distracted, I'm sure, with the raids. Even just having to pull back with the trebs, you feel, gives Tato time to stabilize. And Tato should get all of them, right? They're so slow, these Cavalier. Uh, Viper, he has Vils there to repair, but not in time. Wow. It, that was that was ridiculous. So Viper's got one castle. He ended up losing the other one. So he's got one castle to make Obook now. And that might be the the real deciding factor in the game. Obviously resources too. But if if you can't make Obook, I, I guess they produce pretty quickly, but if you, you can't make a lot of them, then suddenly I think Cavalier for Tato is gonna be looking a lot a lot stronger. And another thing for Viper, he only has one TC so far, and he's sitting at around 100 vills. Mm -hmm. And not like that's a small number, but yep. usually if you're the poles, you want 100 farmers, not just 100 vills. Like it from Viper. He says, all right, whatever. I'm poles. I'll get more food. I'll just try and kill your gold units with my skirms. Not the prettiest of engagements, but he does push Tato back. And Tato drops a castle on the left. And imagine if Viper still had those three trebs. And Viper could maybe consider in the near future trebbing that down. That's not a possibility now. A ridiculous game. And, and like both players have had never say die moments throughout the entirety of it. And I guess a reminder here for Tato. He's probably going to be competing with Viper for first place in this group over the next four weeks. But losing this game here would haunt him. He, he has done enough to get the win now. He just has to finish this freaking snake off. You do anything well, differently? If there's, one that's hard to, if there's one save that's hard to figure to finish off, I think, think it's the poles. Yeah, agreed. I, I feel like Tato's done pretty much everything he could have in this matchup, right? Like this is the sieve he picked, thinking I I think he wanted the sieve to counterpick the poles. Yeah, I think Tato's missing Tato's rush. missing an onager cut as the final step to win this game. Viper onager cut him. Tato was prepared. Viper is not prepared for Cavalier running into that back corner now. So I think if Tato well, could just be do soon. that. He's adding in that castle on the hill in the back. That uh, will protect a Fulvark, and yep. he has outposts just ready to scout for anything Tato might do. Oh, this is good. I like it. Just send the Cavalier through. Viper had cut through. He never gated it. The castle for Viper, obviously good preemptive thinking, but still that is going to be really difficult to deal with if Tato spreads out into a million places. Oh man, these Winged Hussar though. Now there's no meat shield for, the, for all the gunpowder. Those Winged Hussar can feast. And feast they will. Yeah, Bombard sorry. cannons will go down. Hand cannons will go down as well. These The Polish Hussars now have some trample damage too because of Viper's unique tech. Dang, losses on both sides. Ridiculous losses and ridiculous quick walls from Viper to keep some of the villagers alive. And he's brought Obok back home to somehow stop these raids. Ridiculous. He's also raiding the right side T-West, so he killed villagers from Tato as well. Yeah, Vi Viper playing his Alcatraz scenario is he's on point with those quick walls. <laughs> and he has a lot of idols, he just needs to fix them. Yeah, look at the idle time for both. Tato with 10 hours of total idle time in the game. Viper with 4 hours. Tato had 5 hours though before he was an imp. So a lot of that idle time was in that Castle Age flurry when he was defending against Viper's Imperial Age push. Look at that idle TC time. Viper has had one TC this entire game, pretty much, and he only has four minutes compared to Tato now, kind of boomed. That's that's actually a really crazy stat. Four hours of idle TC at this stage. But I mean, I would still prefer to have oh, three look TCs. What, look what Tato just clicked in that stable. It's Paladin. Okay. Paladin I mean, with 61 bills on gold. If he can't win with Paladin with 61 bills on gold... I think we need another nerf to the polls, right? Like, this has been ridiculous. The unit value you just get with the polls is wild. 
the Hussars, the, the, you know, the cost on the Knights we didn't even see in this game, the old book. But Paladin should end it. But then again, there's 38 old books somehow. They produce so quickly. It could be an extreme waste of gold if you go for Paladin against Obo. It could be. Like, the Paladin should just win. They, they should just 1v1 beat every single Polish unit, no questions asked. It's just how how well can Viper keep his eco running? Yeah, how cost-effective will it be? He's closer to 200 pop. Yeah, seriously. He, he's been around 170 now. This is this is a ridiculous game. Like, I, are we, is it week one and we're going to see the best game of... Of TTL3, I mean, come on. Tata's gonna walk this forward with the castle. castle. That pathing's a little awkward here, and he wants to push Just that castle to Viper. All right, so Viper needs to defend from this. Tato has 90 army. He's like, "Thanks for killing my vills. I have more pop space now." Units are all kind of clogged up behind this. So this could be disastrous for Tato. Yeah, Tato, I think, has to bail on this castle. This is just not going to work out. That castle's going to have to get... get there in time. He's got to delete it here. His pathing... The pathing's rough because the hand cannons are in the way. Deej is all, all out of position. The, the castle will be denied. Tato, save some stone here, buddy. Save some stone. Delete it. Where are your He's cannons going? going? His cannons have looped around the other way. Tato is really being stubborn here. That one tile of pathfinding is really just not being kind to him. Oh, man. I mean, Tato's down to 90 vils now, so he's below Viper's vil count. Viper will lose a Treb. Tato's castle is surely just going to be Treb down. Paladins are coming out for Tato. But there's Obok and there's Skirm here for this the Viper. Still for Tato. Tato still has Paladin. He still has the best unit in this fight. And then, he they, keeps and that then the hand cannon. Alive. Can the Paladin save it? Uh, the Treb's alive! You save it. It's alive, but Viper's it's got Skirms. <laughs> the Skirms. One damage from the Skirms take out the Treb. But, I mean... And Tato gets the castle. Yeah, he actually does. I mean, what a crazy play. Paladin has definitely swung it, right? The old book have, have all but disappeared. Right. And now Tato can keep his castle up by using his Paladins to take the Treb. Viper won't have another trap. Viper then can't run into this castle. And Viper's kind of cut off from his starting eco and this left-hand side where, to be completely honest, he doesn't really have that much protection beyond the castles. Yeah, and he, he doesn't have any barracks out there, so he can't just add in a halb to try to deal with the paladins. Yep. And he's and spreading it, out two paladins in the back. This might finally be it where Viper chooses to I call think this it. is the push. Yeah. Wow, that ridiculous game though, seriously. Both players were dead so many times. And now Tata will shift his attention with New Siege, which he can afford because of the gold control, which he's almost out of on the left. Uh, but he could he could push the castle from Viper next to the starting eco. And Viper taps out and calls the GG. What a crazy, tightly contested match that was. And in our series, it ties it up. Uh, T West, just a pleasure, dude, <laughs> to watch that from the start, from the towers and the and the monks and the pikes to this. Every inch of this map was covered. It felt like my goodness, and it felt like every part of the map was important too. Yep. From the middle to the bottom part to the fish to yep. the outside to all the cutting and the tower rushing and the dock blocking. Yeah, it's like uh, just I I forget the name of the 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 person who made this map. Forgive me, because uh, there was this is from a tournament where a lot of different maps were made. But whoever created it envisioned games like this, right? All these fun little aspects being used, and then whoever created the Teutons and the Poles, whoever had a hand in that, there's like 20 years, <laughs> 20 years of a gap between whoever had a hand in the Teutons and whoever had a hand in the Poles. But they also probably felt like maybe things would play out like this with all the crazy bonuses. Um, I mean, well played to both players. Uh, Rez collected. Tato did have more of almost everything in that game, but it was just the Polish farms that had kind of given Viper the faster imp, gave Viper all those hussars and those skirms that kept him in it. But finally, Tato was able to break the snake.